Today we will learn how to install Linux in a virtual machine that is VMware Workstation. You can download VMware Workstation from any torrent and install it on your PC. Like I am using this VMware in my Windows. So you can also install it and you can create new virtual machines in your system inside your computer so you can practice Linux and work on Linux environment how it is so let's start here I'm clicking new virtual machine then it is asking me typical recommended or custom so let's start with typical and now it's asking for DVD drive which contains the CD or DVD for the Linux installation and there is also an option that if you have an ISO file downloaded from any of the Linux distribution you can directly use that ISO file it will read that ISO file as a as your CD-ROM and will install via this so now I am selecting it Here is the CentOS file. Now I'll click next, and this is the virtual machine name. And here is the path where you want to install that virtual machine. In the hard drive, which you can, which partition you can select for the Linux that you will be installing. So right now I have a space in that my E drive, and I am creating. I'm installing that Linux in my E drive. And I am clicking next and here is the uh, available disk allocation. The next and you can also customize the hardware how much memory you want to give that virtual machine and if you want to give CD drive and other things other peripherals to the this customized machine here you can see customize hardware and you can customize this like I am minimizing the RAM I am limiting it to 840 for example ok and I am clicking finish so so now I am powering this machine up and here you can see that this virtual machine has been started here is what it has got from the ISO file as it is considering it as CentOS CD so now just when I click it I just need to press enter here you can see this virtual machine is being started when you click on the terminal on virtual machine and if you need to exit from that virtual machine you have to click uh, you have to press control and alter key at once so like you can see that my mouse is now visible and I am out of that virtual machine I am again clicking inside the machine so this is the CD test we can skip that Detecting the hardware like VMware SG adapter, this is, that is a virtual adapter for this virtual machine. So here we go with CentOS. Now I'm clicking on Next. This 
selected language will be English again US English and just saying that it will remove all the partition and data from my drive and this drive you can see it is 6142 MB that is 6GB which I allocated in the beginning so I click yes and I can easily format it because it is a virtual drive and this will not erase my debt any of my data so remove all partition and selected tri uh, drives next yes and then you can also assign IPs here manually or via DSCP if you are using local NAT and here from we and from here we can assign manual IP address with subnet mask that is maybe 255.0 or, or something else so let's start my DHCP because I am using it as a virtual machine I am clicking next and here we can set time zone here it is Asia Karachi can use ultra times UTC next and group password we can set here must be six character long screen if you know genome you can select it or you are familiar with KDE you can also select it from here and these are server packages and virtualization packages some and others so I am doing customized installation so I have selected customize now next and from here I can select which package I was I want to install. Like if I don't need development libraries, I will not install them. But I need them, so I'm starting them. These are the servers. If you need them, any of them, you can install it from here. it is formatting the file system after that it will install other files and packages that are needed so let it be done and we will come back later now the installation will be in this virtual machine so it will be rebooted the system has been restarted and let's do it. next steps Forward. if you want to enable firewall you can enable it from here then SC Linux info sync I suggest you disable it and you can also set date and time One thing more here you can set network time protocol and define at NTP servers for syncing your time with that server. Now user for 
this Linux. see what is the IP of that of this box right now this su dash command is to enter the system root access that is the main access the admin access of the system Here I can see that it, the IP is 192.168.235.128 and VMware always net the IP that is it translate the network address at your PC to this virtual machine. So we can do browsing here we can communicate with this IP and if you are using PuTTY you can just browse this IP from your PuTTY terminal. PuTTY is just like this terminal and it is remote access. It is for remote access and you can access it from anywhere via this IP. So that is all about how to install Linux and CentOS in virtual machine through which you can practice all how it can work. 